Welcome back to Homoerotic Stories After Dark, where we tell sensual stories to spice up your life and get you in the mood. With you as always, I'm your host, Elijah Holland. We last left off with studly yet kind-hearted Alex, about to admit his feelings to Kyle. Alex got up close to Kyle, his heart racing. Kyle, there's something I have to tell you. What is it? Kyle asked. He stood there in the locker room in just a towel, and try as he might, Alex can't look away from the droplets of water crawling from Kyle's strong chest down to the divots of his chiseled abs. Alex's eyes follow the water as it drips to the top of the towel, lower and lower until he stares at the dick print beneath the thin material. Alex swallowed nervously, wanting so badly to know what Kyle looks like underneath that towel. He caught glimpses of Kyle's V, but never this up close before. Look, I... I... Before Alex can finish the sentiment, Kyle's towel drops. There it is, in all of its glory. Kyle's... Unsurprisingly, it's amazing. Thick, but not too thick. Big, but not massive. It was everything you could ever want. The perfect man with the perfect... Alex can't believe his eyes, wanting to take that hard and wrap his mouth all over it. He wants... No. He needs to suck it. Gag on it. Let it fill his entire mouth up with every inch. Uh, you're a... Towel dropped, Alex stammers, as if Kyle is unaware. But Kyle doesn't answer. He kisses Alex, their tongues tangling and clashing together. Kyle grabs Alex's ass firmly in his hands, as if he had waited years to touch it. Alex can't help himself. He has to touch Kyle's... Alex stops kissing Kyle and kneels down. Wait! Kyle exclaims. What about the neighbors? I don't care about them. I just need you in my mouth right now. Just needed to sign here. All right. Glad it finally got here today. If I would have had to wait any longer, I would have lost all focus. Hang on. Say something else. What do you want me to say? You sound so familiar. Do I now? Where might you know me from? Hold on, it's gonna come to me. (laughs) Alex wrapped his lips around the heart of his partner, stroking it up and down. Holy, you're Elijah. (laughs) You got me. (laughs) Oh my God, I love your work. I have so many questions. I love your voice. I listen to your podcast all the time. I'm literally addicted. <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad that I'm glad that my work riles you up a bit. Believe me, it does more than that. Really? Well, uh, why don't you come over sometime? Um, to deliver another package? <laughs> <laughs> no, come over and uh, just hang out. I mean, you know where I live. Awesome. Yeah, I'm off tomorrow. <laughs> Cool. All right. See you tomorrow. Um, Package. Oh, so sorry. (laughs) I'm a mess. (laughs) You're okay. (sighs) 
Welcome back to Homoerotic Stories After Dark, where we tell sensual stories to spice up your life and get you in the mood. With you as always, I'm your host, Elijah Holland. Last time, Alex and Kyle got their sticky, sweet, happy ending. So today, I've got something new, something fresh, something exciting. Let me introduce you to Elliot. He's a good Southern boy with a great smile, a sexy voice, fantastic body, and a good head on his shoulders. Elliot's got it all, but he's lonely. It's a day like any other when Elliot hears a knock on the door. When he answers, he sees a strikingly gorgeous delivery driver. Noah has beautiful eyes, a great body, and he's eager to get to know Elliot. But Elliot is shy around new people. Nobody believes it, considering how outgoing Elliot has to pretend to be. But he is. He doesn't feel that way around Noah, though. There's something about Noah that makes him feel comfortable. And horny. Package for Elliot, Noah says, looking handsome as hell in his uniform. That's me. Elliot takes the package from Noah's hand. A package, huh? I'm interested. Noah blushes. Elliot knows exactly what he's doing, and it's working. I I should have said delivery. (laughs) I didn't mind the innuendo, Elliot flirts. Well, it seems like you have a nice, heavy package, Noah states, giving Elliot a shy smile. Does that work? Everything works with you. Noah is irresistible, and Elliot has had enough of trying not to make a move. Dropping the package on the ground, Elliot grabs Noah by the waist, holds him in for a passionate kiss. They stumble into Elliot's house and shut the door behind them. Elliot rips off Noah's shirt and throws him onto the couch behind him. He then tears off his own clothes, showcasing his rock hard No one. I didn't think you were going to be here until later. Um, yeah, about that. I heard your latest podcast episode. Did you make me a character on your latest story? Look, I can explain. So um, you didn't. Don't even bother. You obviously asked me out on a date for content. What? No, that's not it at all. Then why was there a delivery driver on your latest episode? I I meant everything that I said. It's, you know, these, these stories, they're very personal for me. And if I get to use my own situations, you know, it gives them a little more authenticity. And, and I mean, look at you, you're stunning, man. Like, I promise that I did not want to only use you for content. Like, I think you are a really sweet guy and I am genuinely looking forward to our date tonight. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And you know, you could have just asked me and I would have said yes. Yeah. Yes. So we're still on for tonight? Hell yeah. I will see you then. (laughs) Thank you. Of course. Bye.
So I'm, I'm really glad you made it. Me too. Um, so what's it like being a podcaster and all of that? Um, I mean, it's, it's great. I, uh, I really like entertaining people with my voice and, and things like that. You think you can entertain me sometime? Um, maybe. <laughs> so, so do you like being a delivery driver? I mean, it pays the bills, I guess. But <clears throat> I'm more interested in getting to know you. Like, I never thought somebody with such a hot voice would actually be hot in real life, you know? Yeah, I, um, I, I try my best. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab dinner. Uh, I think it should be about ready. So, uh, thank you for dinner. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you could make it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you, you want me to? No, no, you can just leave it there. I'll get it. So, um, let's get home safe. Thank you, I will. Yeah. Good night. Yeah, good night. Welcome back to Homoerotic Stories After Dark, where we tell sensual stories to spice up your life and get you in the mood. With you as always, I'm your host, Elijah Holland. Last time we started the story of Elliot, the lone wolf, and Noah, the delivery driver, and the sparks that flew between them. After their intense and passionate encounter, Elliot is excited to continue their journey. He wants to see Noah again. He has to. The lust they shared needs to be explored. Elliot prepares for their date and puts on his best outfit, one that shows off his muscled, sculpted body and his impressive bulge. He's nervous, extremely nervous. Elliot opens the door, stunned. Noah looks more beautiful than ever before, his eyes gleaming. Hey. Uh, hi, Elliot says, stuttering a bit. Seeing him standing there, Elliot could only think about how much he wants to take Noah inside, rip off his clothes, and f*** him. Hard. D do you want to come in? Elliot manages to get out. Noah walks into the house, and Elliot closes the door behind him. The tension in the room is thick. Elliot doesn't know how much longer he could hold himself back. He needs Noah's in his mouth. He needs to feel his warm body against his. Before Noah could say anything, Elliot pulls Noah in close. I know we were supposed to have a nice dinner, but I, I can't go another moment without feeling your Elliot passionately kisses Noah, both of them letting their inhibitions go. I've needed you to put my tight hole of yours ever since you left, whispers Elliot. 
My hole is yours, whispers Noah back. Elliot whisks Noah up and kisses him furiously, both losing themselves in their lust. Elliot's shoots out of his pants, begging to be stuffed into any of Noah's holes. And Noah, Noah was already getting ready for Elliot. What am I doing? <laughs> no one. I listened to your podcast. I'm sorry I didn't ask for your permission again. No. It's just... Why didn't you do anything on our date? Do what? You know what. I didn't know you liked me like that. Of course I do. I mean, look at you. Why didn't you do anything? I don't know. I get nervous. I get... I, I get scared. Like, I'm not confident outside. That's part of why I do my podcast is, you know, when I'm telling my stories, I get to kind of live out my fantasy, you know? Well, so you're confident talking to thousands of people, but you get nervous when you talk to me? I know that it sounds irrational. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Really? <sighs> Elijah... I like you a lot, and I want you, and I want you to do whatever you want with me. I know you can. I want you so bad, Nolan.